Okay. First off, there's something that's been on my heart for a couple of days, and I I just now got around to doing it, but I can't let it go. So um, I need you guys to bear with me while I say this. I'm going to try to make it as short and concise as I can, but you know me. I like to talk. I haven't done a video in a long time, and so, yeah. The second thing is I am not a Bible scholar by any stretch of the imagination, but this is what was given to me. Um, so, Lord, just, you know, clear my mind, clear my thoughts, speak directly through me, and let take me out of the way, and show yourself. So, what you gave me to say, let me say it correctly in the way that you want it to be heard. In Jesus' name, touch my heart and my mouth and my mind. Amen. Okay, so... I've noticed lately, just talking to people and um, talking to people in my line and my coworkers that nobody's sleeping. Everybody's tired. Everybody looks tired. We're all lethargic. We're all just kind of just autopiloting through our days. And so I was like, you know, one or two people being tired, that's, that's okay. You know, that's normal. But everybody saying the same thing. How are you doing today? Oh, girl, I'm just... And that's all I get, different forms and different levels of being tired, being drained. And yeah, we can attribute it to um, the face mask and not getting enough oxygen or having to breathe heavier. But, but I, I think that I was told, let's just go there. I, I think that I was told was that um, maybe... Can't nobody sleep because I want y'all to pray. I wake y'all up at night or I don't let you sleep thinking that you will toss and turn enough to get up and say, what God, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Who do you want me to talk to? And, it, you know, as I tell the, my grandkids, it really doesn't matter who you pray for, what you pray for. Just talk to them. Just talk to them. But so that's what I got. And then after I got, I just want everybody up and praying. That's it. Pray for your nation. Pray for the world. We got 18 different things going on and and nobody, not nobody, but I don't think we are getting the importance of prayer. So, as I sat down to 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 look up the verses that he put in my head, as I sat down to do that, the song um, maybe God is trying to tell you something popped in my head. And I was like, okay, Lord, that's just obvious. That's just too obvious. But I went to go look at the words and the words really were can't sleep at night. Something, something isn't right. Maybe God is trying to tell you something. Cried all night long. Uh, something has gone wrong. Maybe God is trying to tell you something. Can't sleep at night. And you wonder why. Yeah. And you wonder why. Maybe God is trying to tell you something. Now, I, I wrote that down before I came to this. The second part is, so he gave me two scriptures, right? So I go to look up the first one. The first one was basically, um, the first one was if the, my people, you know, who are called by my name, he gave me that one. And that one came the very night that he said, I want y'all up. Y'all ain't sleeping because I need y'all up. You're supposed to pray when you can't sleep at night, get up. And then the second one he gave me right under that one was because the prayers of the righteous avail of much. So seeing as how we take these, I had to read the chapter to, to figure out what was really going on. So I don't use it, you know, typically out of context, so to speak. But let me read you this. Let me read you this. So the first one, the first one um, is in Second Chronicles. And I'm going to read you 12 to 14. Not that long. Just bear with me. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by in the night, and he said to him, I have heard your prayer. I have chosen this place, Nala. I have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. This place, like, like, like this place, this world, this U.S., this place. Okay. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. 
Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers made in this place. Do you hear what he is saying? It's not only if my people will, will humble themselves and pray and then seek my face. It is not only that. It is it, He's saying, when I do these things or when these things happen to your land, when you do this, don't turn from me. Turn to me. Because apparently, I'm telling you, there's something wrong. And I need you to listen. I need you to wake up. I need you to watch your surroundings to figure out. My cat is going to tear this door. Oh. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. So. Um. She messed up my train of thought. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that he is pretty much telling you that not only, you know, he there's these things that are going to happen. And then he's telling you, if my people do all this stuff, then I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. But that last verse, now my eyes will be open and my ears are attentive to the prayers made in this place. Which ties right into, let me go over there. To the prayers of the righteous availeth much, which was a trip to me as well. So, let's see. Where was it? Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. Did you, did you catch that? Confess your trespasses to one another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. So, from that, just that little bit, that's the whole verse. But just from that little bit, it was like you were saying, do those things before. But did you know that if you talk to one another and get it out and tell people why you're hurting and change so we can make some changes, tell people what is frustrating you, tell people how we can help each other, confess to one another instead of not talking, instead of not listening, instead of shutting people out, instead of we got this, we do have to distance. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying it's not time to totally like, like we have walls up that are so far up. Everybody's in their own little corner, in their own little lane. Confess. Your sins, your trespasses. Trespasses doesn't have to be a sin. Trespass could be, you know what? I stepped on your shoe today. You know what? I don't like that food. I mean, I didn't appreciate the food that you gave me or the look that you gave me. Um, you took money from me two weeks ago and, you know, I would like you to pay it back. Come, trespasses. Just when you feel like something wrong has been done to you. Confess. Your trespasses to one another. If you did something to somebody else, confess it so that you can move on with life. And then pray for one another, which is enough. He's telling you right back to back. If my people will pray. And then he's saying, who to pray for? Pray for one another. Pray for one another. Just because your family doesn't isn't, you know, involved in Corona doesn't mean that your friends isn't. Just because you don't have anybody that was shot up in a drive-by doesn't mean you don't have friends. Just because you don't have, you know, you can't understand the brutality of the police or, you know, I'm not even going on the all lives, black lives, Hispanic lives. We matter. Everybody. So, I'm just saying, pray for one another instead of secularly dividing and, you know, Okay, I done got off on a tangent. But anyway, that's all. That's basically all that I wanted to say. And it has been on my heart for like days to say this. And I, I just kept saying, no, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. But I just feel like if I don't say something, I'm going to be held accountable for it. So I'm just telling you all what I thought. <laughs> But anyway, um, that's all I got for now. I know it was a long video, 
But I'm just saying, you guys, we got to come together. We got to heal this land. We got to pray for one another. Don't forget to, I mean, even if we don't like each other, that it just makes it even better because it's easy to pray for someone that even says that. It's easy to pray for somebody that you care for, but the people that are doing you wrong, the people you have disdain for, the people you don't like, the people that are getting on your nerves, those are the people that we need to pray for, for real, for real. If we want change, if we want to see progress, let's do this. I miss hugging y'all. I miss loving on y'all. We got to make this better. Here from my heart, I love you, and I will see you later in another video.